Hello again. It's been a long time. Well, let's get right into it. Um, have you ever wondered how to make, um, if you can see down here, the applications folder, see how it has an A on it? This game folder has a controller on it. Well, what I'm going to show you today is how to put your own custom icon on top of a folder. So what you're going to need is uh, Photoshop or a program that's similar. You're going to need uh, this file right here, which is a folder image. Um, I'll give you the link to this particular one that I made uh, in the description. And then you're also going to need, let me open up Firefox real quick. You're also going to need your own, uh, oh, happy Mother's Day by the way. Um, you're going to need your own image that you're going to want. So for me, I'm going to Google, um, let's say, let's say I have a movie folder. So I'm going to Google movie reel, go to images and let's see, I kind of like this one right here. So go ahead and open it, go full size image. And now we're going to save this image to the desktop. All right, so there we go. Now, let me make a new folder real quick and let's call it movie. So this is going to be the folder that you're going to put an image on. So go ahead and open this first movie file in Photoshop. And you can also open this file Oops. in Photoshop. Alright, what we need to do first is move this file on to here. So what we're going to do is first we can take our uh, the polygon lasso tool and we're just going to very crudely select, let's see, let me get rid of that black shadow there, just the outside of this. There we go. Now we can hit uh, the delete key. Oops, forgot one important step. You first have to make a layer from this and then we can do it. Actually, no, we still have to take this, so take this file right here and drag it over onto here. There we go. Now we should be able to. So now, holding down the shift key, I'm gonna make this smaller. All right, there we go. So now let's do that again. There we go. Now we hit the, oops. <laughs> now I gotta invert it. Now I hit delete, deselect. And now I just get my magic wand tool. Select, hit delete, deselect. And there we go. Now we just have the movie reel. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure it's the size you want and that it's located in the center of the folder. That looks pretty good right there. And now we're going to apply an effect to it. You're going to want to go to, you can try different ones, see the one that works best. But for me, I've noticed that this soft light right here looks the most realistic. So as you can see, it's now added texture to this. And now we just have to save this file. So we're going to go file. Save as. Um, we want to save it to the desktop. Let's call it movie uh, folder icon. And you're going to want to save it as a PNG because that will allow you to save this transparency, which you'll need. Now go ahead and hit save. Uh, none is fine. And now you can close that. So now we have this folder icon we made, and there's one more thing we need to do. Go ahead and double click and open it, and it's gonna open it with preview. And now you're gonna wanna hit edit, uh, select all, and then edit copy. Now that it's copied, all we have to do is uh, right click on this movie folder, say get info, and now click on this icon right here and make sure that it's selected like that. 
and then you're going to go ahead and hit edit paste and as you can see the movie picture change or the icon change and we now have an icon of a movie reel so that was really simple thing to do and thanks for watching and please comment rate and subscribe